All right, what you right. didn't see is part 6.5, where Ryan needlessly backtracks all the way here. Yep. So <laughs> yeah, yeah look, there I it's, it's, it's daylight. It, it's my time now. There, I skipped going through Hyrule Field. Ted, are you happy? Yes. Yes, I am. Do you do that for the rest of the game? I do skip a lot of running around. Yeah, yeah yes. this, this game's boring me. Go to Ganon's Tower already. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Thirty you parts, all the John. Game. Yeah, pretty much, but. Oh. You can do it in a link to the past. <laughs> that's Plus, a, that's a link to the past. That's a, <laughs> so not playing the game is a bonus. <laughs> well, this is John. He does like Super Metroid, where you can beat the game in five minutes if you know what you're doing. <laughs> so are we going to see red at the top of this mountain? No, just I some, don't think this is Mount Silver. Just just some naked chick. No, this isn't Mount Silver. This is Mount Silver. Only a naked chick. I wanted to meet the Pokemon trainer. Okay. You my priorities are messed up. <laughs> you, my friend, have very odd taste. <laughs> I guess they won't be shipping you with Amanda anymore. Huh. Well. <laughs> Wait, they were shipping Ted with Amanda? For, yep. <laughs> for some reason. Amanda the chick or the Skarmory? Hopefully neither. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be slightly more disturbing if it was the Skarmory, though. I don't want to see the Skarmory. Yeah, no. Ah, <laughs> uh, that guy can hurt you, can he? Yeah, he can. What's that asshole's problem? He's a dick, that's what. Actually, I'm pretty sure he just can't see anything, because he's rolled up in a ball. Sure. So, why don't they play music at night time? I mean, I obviously it's know. to add atmosphere, so I guess I just asked my own question. Okay, so I'll rephrase. Why don't they play a different track at night time? Just because, I guess. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. But I completely agree. But I completely agree. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> it's a walking topic talking lump of shit. But Landing in that thing in the middle is hard to do. Yeah. Wait, you're supposed to land in the middle of that thing? You can. I always throw a bomb in it. You're supposed to to get bonuses and stuff, but you can before you blow it off. Open the door. So whenever you don't know what to do, you just play Zelda's lullaby and it'll probably do something. Usually, <laughs> put, yes. put a bomb next to it anyway. <laughs> Hi, whoever you are. <laughs> kind of an odd beard he's got there. It's made of rock. He's made of rock. He's weak to water and grass types. And fighting. Well, actually, Gorons are afraid of water. True. Goron Link does pretty much die when he touches water in Majora's Mask. Right. Plot, 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 plot. Done. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you speak, you speak the, way of, the way of the speedrunner. <laughs> do, 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 do. Now, I could have put any music here and it would have been hilarious, so I just left it alone. <laughs> so let's think of okay. all the songs that would be really funny if we put here. Dubstep. I call this the Annoying Mosquito. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of songs that it would be funny if he was dancing here. Um, this guy's so heavy that when he does that ankle twist move, I have where I expect his leg to snap off. <laughs> so is this supposed to be funny, or is it just funny because of aged programming? <laughs> Both, I Both. think. <laughs> I think it's I think it's funny because the cameraman has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, for a second there, did you see that he was manipulating gravity for a second there? <laughs> so, uh, do they say that you're supposed to find Saria's song in order to make him feel better? I know yeah, that after, you're supposed to find you, you out talk, a way to make him feel better. After you talk to him, after a little while, Navi will try and give you advice. Say, hey, I'd, maybe we should ask Saria for advice. <laughs> Because uh, I don't, re again, my first playthrough of this was uh, over a year ago, so I don't really remember you, too you, much you, about you have to the Navi specifics she, of this game. You have to activate Navi when she kind of goes hey when you're walking around the normal world, but there's nothing in the game telling you explicitly to do it if you don't access Navi. Navi's there as a hint to tell you to go talk to Saria. Oh, okay, there's, there, there's at least that, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can now use bombs. Bombs? You want them? They're yours, my friend. <laughs> and I so don't that incredibly tacky bracelet ups our upper body strength by two. It seems huh. so. 
don't get it, but whatever, it's helpful. Yep. Let's see, can I shoot it with the seed? <laughs> shoot it nope. with the seed. I should be able to do something with them. You can't you can't pull those out of the wall, right? Right. I think I have to have actual bombs myself. Yeah. I think you can light them on fire if you manage to get a Deku stick over there. I think but so. But trying to light all the torches on the way is a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'm trying to find the shortcut so I can get back here quickly if I need to from the Lost Woods. <laughs> you mean the shortcut you forgot to open up before you went to the Lost Woods? Yep. There it is. It's Oh, okay, so you do have to do go the long way in order to get the song. Yeah. I almost thought that the game was trying to be convenient for a second. Nope. <laughs> oh, right. So you wouldn't have been able to open the shortcut in the first place. Right. Aha, uh -huh, so there. I wasn't wrong. Aha, uh -huh, Ryan's right. This game is trying to be tedious. <laughs> <laughs> right. I swear this game's not awful. Please don't kill me. You're already dead, Ted. Ted. You've been dead since Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> Why? Nobody mind. I didn't complain that much in that game. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna sequence break again? Yes. Bomb. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Yes, I did. So wait, oh. what did you blow up? The cave to the. I opened up the cave to the next dungeon. Oh, so well, I, I thought you were right. talking about something else. Here's the sequence break. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the sequence break. Hey, yep. There what we the go. Hell? Uh, oh, wait, I did this too for the 3DS version. Yeah, you can do it. This is probably the most well-known sequence break. Well, it's not like it's incredibly hard. No. In fact, I always forgot you, you have to use the plant to get up here in the first place. I always do that. <laughs> so now we're entering the second dungeon of the game. I didn't that... even realize it was a sequence break. I thought you had to do it that way. No. <laughs> It's, technically it's always fun break. to channel your inner Cole McGrath, isn't it? <laughs> or is Cole McGrath channeling his inner Link? Or dumbfuck? I'm just gonna call him Link. <laughs> well, well, you do kind of have to be a bit of a dumbfuck to jump off a skyscraper, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Let alone backflip off it. So now we've entered the Dongo's Cavern. Great! Great! <laughs> Yay, CDI. You goods. don't say! <laughs> Well, look who we're talking about Dude. here, Lewis. His name well, is Well, to be fair, the, the textures for the lava are so flat and, and dim that, you know, some people might actually need to be told that it's lava. It, it, it looks more like hot coals, but it def the, the glowing red does give away that, hey, I probably shouldn't touch this. Yep. Dungeon map. I'm only getting it to show it's there for new players, because I know these dungeons by heart. Nerd. You got a map. Okay. I I don't know. Even if in games that I know all of the secrets to, I still like getting the map anyway, just because. Well, usually they're just on the way. I think there's only like two dungeons where they're really out of the way. Just out of sheer kleptomania, Ted. Yeah. Well, no. I just I like having a map just in case. Though actually, Ryan does bring it up. When I was doing the Fire Temple the first time, I think the map was the last thing I found. It's one of the so last things you get in that dungeon, which is kind of stupid, but yeah. It's just like, oh great, I finally found it. Now. <laughs> yeah. I will try to perform the map whenever possible, because I'm not one to memorize dungeons all that well. I know them well enough to where I don't need them, but I get them, A, because they're usually just on the way anyway, and it's convenient to have. Mm -hmm. Like that a Majora's is. Mask, I always try to go for the map inside Clock Town because I... That area can get a bit confusing, yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, does this game have a map that automatically fills as you go through the dungeon? Yes. Okay, good. They've had that since Zelda 1, so you, there's at least that if you... You're not backtracking a whole lot because you at least have that. Yeah. The dungeon... It was a load-bearing not boss. Okay. Why not? Eh. Oh, it's the tried and true push a statue onto a switch puzzle. Pretty much, yeah. <sighs> Do the statues ever try to kill you in this game? Our most our enemies in this game, yes. Okay, so... It's not okay. these particular ones. Because you don't have your own supply there of are, bombs. Th there are yet. some, though, inside this one, I believe, right? Near yeah. the end. Mm -hmm. I think it's here, actually. Nope, these are the mini no, no, bosses. No. Oh, the, uh... The Zalfos. 
These are the- I find find fighting these guys to be really annoying. Stab. Stab. That's actually one thing about Ocarina of Time that bugs me. It's just fighting enemies kind of feels a little bit repetitive, because you fight every enemy almost the exact same way. Someone hasn't played Skyward Sword. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I'm not gonna di oh, I haven't played that, but just because it does that worse there doesn't mean it's not repetitive here. Again, I'm gonna bring up this argument. Yeah, getting two broken legs is worse than getting one, but one broken leg still kinda sucks. I guess. But that that's really worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. And I mean, it's not like the combat's the real focus in any Zelda game anyway, so it's not a game breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. It's just that. A little bit more variety would have been appreciated. Well, you do have a tennis racket. You are confusing every non-Zelda official out of. <laughs> You're lucky the enemy doesn't know how to do a low cut. It's it's a lizard man. They've got really really low intelligence. Pretty much. Yep. Oh look, some Dodongos. Great. Bombed. <laughs> now, can you kill them? Oh, can you? Do you have to use the bomb flower, or can you kill them with nope. your sword? You, you're supposed you to kill them with your sword. Yeah. I'm just doing it just to try and be funny, but no, nope. <laughs> they're not being cooperative. Well, you can lock onto the Dodongos and throw around. the bombs it, it out from that way. Too much before it explodes. The Dodongo like smoke my ass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everything likes it dislikes a sword to the ass, though. Boom. So wait, if a Dodongo dislikes smoke, then why is it made out of explosive materials? Because bombs. <laughs> oh, Zelda, you just love, uh, you love contradicting yourself, don't you? Like the English language? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, die. Move on to the next one. They got a massive size boost in the Jordan mask. Yeah, they so, do. So, are we going to have the tail for well, dinner? No, are, wait, are there actually... Hmm? No. There are Dodongos in Majora's mask. No, 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 well, I, I'm talking about... Because I, I mentioned Majora's mask because the guys are like three times their size in Majora's mask. Yeah. But are there different Dodongos in Ocarina of Time? Mm, well, there's King Dodongo, but no. Uh, that's a boss. Yeah. No, these are the only ones. Okie dokie, now that those are all out of the way, I can now light the torches without any problems. As soon as I look for hearts. <laughs> this is a common uh, theme. Light the torch in order to get the thing to open. Well, you all, it's more so early in the game because you only have so much equipment. Zelda games are kind of bad with that. What, where you have to... Well, yeah, because you of, only get one new piece of equipment per dungeon, so you're one, stuck using the same things over and over yeah, that again is for one a thing, That is one of the few things I will give props to Skyward Sword for. They do give you a lot more equipment early on. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ryan, you don't like that game. You should record it so we can riff on it. Not until we do Majora's Mask, A Link to the Past, Zelda 2, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, the Oracle games... Christ, you'd rather do Zelda 2 before Skyward Sword. Yeah. <laughs> it's that bad. <laughs> at least I'm either at least I'm usually done with it in a few hours on like Skyward Sword. <laughs> it takes more time to get through Skyward Sword's tutorial than it does to beat the entire second Zelda game. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> if you know what you're doing anyway. Uh, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Chain reaction! Michael <laughs> Bay! Was reacting to you putting a live bomb next to a set of other bombs. <laughs> so, if you explode, do you have to get the chain reaction to work in order for this to happen? Yep. Or... Yes. Okay, so you can't just... And if you blow up the one to the side, it won't reach to the other one, right? Yep. Nope. Okay, so you do have to actually complete the puzzle to make that Luckily, fall. they do rejuvenate if you fuck up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, bomb flowers grow really fast. <laughs> 